there's uh, one Carnegie Hall, there's one uh, Ryman Auditorium, one Apollo, and I guess just one Floribama. We said it was a club that washed in from the sea. It was made of cardboard boxes and canvas. It was pretty amazing. We're standing in this place that would be the most, you would think would be the most unli unlikely place in the entire world for famous Grammy Award winning songwriters to be sitting on stage. And you can look around like, you know, and watch the people and people go, he wrote that? A lot of the songwriters and uh, yeah, our people, they're not household names, but their songs are. Yesterday in Marina Del Rey. Here's the deal. Here's how this music that you love is formed and crafted and created and cherished and played. And that doesn't happen very often. It, it just aren't a whole lot of places where that happens. Hey, Marina Dooley. Hope you get a lot of that early stuff, because that's, that's where the magic, boy, it was. Golly, that was a magic time. Give me a ticket for an airplane. Ain't got time to take a fast train. The dressing room was a liquor room. I don't know if you remember everybody going to the liquor room and songwriters sleeping across the street. And 20 songwriters in there passing a guitar around and you talk about magic. Man, there was some magic in that room. I don't know if there's any place in the world where this many songwriters gather at the same time for no other reason but to gather at the same time. Every player liked to you know, hit the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But I've never met a really great player or writer that that was a prime motivating factor. A songwriter really, truly, in the long run, only cares if he's writing something from the heart somebody else appreciates it. It doesn't always matter if it makes any money. It's nice, but it's not imperative. Seems like everything comes down to money and love in my life. I don't do any of it really for the money. I mean, that'd be a fool to say. I don't think about, boy, if this goes to number one, you know, I make a hundred grand or something. Money and love in my life. If you come here and you don't want to hear some stuff from the heart, don't come. Because you're probably going to, you're going to hear somebody's broken heart. No more chasing rainbows. No more living free. A heart full of dreams is all that's left me. My dream is to be able to I simply make a living doing what I love to do. I've often told people that, you know, I haven't made a whole lot of money writing songs, but then I was writing songs when I wasn't making a whole lot of money. So, you know, that's that's pretty much the, the deal. There'll be no more chasing rainbows. There's millions of players and wonderful players and writers out there that uh, ain't gonna make it. But what is making it? Your love's not what I need. You know, people come up to you and say, man, you don't know what that song's meant to me. That part of it makes you proud of what you do. That's why I do it. It's, it's like a calling. No more chasing I look back on the wonderful humans that I've met and the and the wonderful level of talent that I've been blessed 
to be a part of and to write with some of these wonderful people. My life couldn't have been any better, Lynn. Couldn't have been any better. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much.